Hey, hey everyone. Well, I am out and about. Happy, beautiful Monday to you. Welcome to the witch's cabin. I'm glad that you are here. Now, <clears throat> I will have to say I have to get my microphone for my, um, for my phone. So I've got to hook that up with the iPhone. I haven't done it yet. So if you are straining to hear it, please turn up your volume. Hopefully you can hear a little bit. So we have Monday Moon Day Magic and today is really about reflection i wanted to speak to um everyone about words and then also about exercise okay um today i was i was reflecting on these different words that we um that we use um like that word like <laughs> that word like like when I said and so like the word itself is been used as a filler instead of it being used as a defining aspect of, of what you um, appreciate and so when we do that we actually diminish the word it's hard to to release word with whiskers those are some of the word whiskers. Um, well, uh, uh huh, and you know, and you know, and you know, and like, and like, and like, and like. Well, as a practitioner of the craft, we know that words are very, very important. We know that words actually mean something. They they manifest into matter, regardless if you. Um, uh, have said things off the cuff or jokingly the the universal structure doesn't know whether it's jokingly or not so we have to be really discerning about the type of words that we use and also know the etymology of the words now one of those words that um is uh, always used and of course we think it's a great word it's uh it's when we say oh that is so nice or it's so nice to meet you or this is really nice or that thing is really nice well the etymology of that word is not what we think that it is the etymology of the word actually means ignorance yes you heard me say it ignorance so when you say oh that's so nice what you're really saying is that's so ignorant now those um, individuals that are educated right and understand word magic and the power of words and have used those things against us has allowed uh, certain words to be, let's say, put into um, the dichotomy, our language expression, so that we actually um, curse ourselves or hex ourselves. It's very, very interesting how these different elite groups would do that so that uh, we we as a people it didn't matter we're just talking about the laymen um the less educated uh, those of certain ethnicities those of lower financial brackets they weren't able to get into these higher realms of thinking and then learn how to manifest in a better way because they were using words that would hex their experience right it would cancel out whatever it is and so when we would say things, oh, that is so nice, what you were doing is hexing that experience or that person or yourself, unbeknownst. Oh, that is so ignorant. Oh, you are so ignorant. And if you thought of it that way, you would actually um, digress in using certain expressions so that you weren't having to... Um, rethink what it is that you need to say but it takes practice I guarantee you if I say to somebody oh that's so nice I know what I'm saying <laughs> I know what I'm saying so I very rarely use that expression because I understand what it means now when you were in high school there were words that we took and borrowed so that we could put it in the dichotomy of our expressions and become, let's say, like-minded with a group of people. So in my era of high school, junior high school, uh, one of those words was bad, right? And Michael Jackson made this really prominent. He said, who's bad, 
right? So that bad became good. Well, that was really difficult for our parents because if you said, oh man, that's bad, mom. My mom and dad were like, what's bad? No, that's not bad. That's good. No, mom, it's good. It's bad. My dad would say, My dad would say, no, that's not bad. That's really good. So you need to change the way you're speaking so that I understand you. Another one I remember saying to my dad, he was showing me something. I said, oh, man, that's sick, dad. My dad said, who's sick? <laughs> I said, what? He said, who's sick? It's, Are you sick? I said, no. I was saying that that was like really cool. He's like, what's cool? I mean, that is really, I like that. I like that, what you put together. He said, but you just said it was sick. I said, no, Dad, that's just an expression. See, like, I had to go through all of that with my father, right? So, it's, it wasn't that my dad isn't uh, up with the times. It's that there's a generation of people that understand that words really mean what they mean. And that they should continue to be that. But we can be tricked into speaking a certain way so that now our words work against us. But the etymology of those words never changed because they were the origin of the word. The origin. And that is what is important. The origin. Another word is, um, which we know today, um, gay. Gay has turned into such a um, fantastical, um, fanatical word, right? So that it went from being happy to now uh, being a general term for uh, a group of people that practice an alternative lifestyle. However, when that expression was made, it was to say that those that were practicing an alternative lifestyle were more lighter, happier, more uh, radiant. So therefore, that group became known as gay. So in itself, the word does reflect, still reflects the energy at which it was the origin for. It's really important that we learn that these words that we're using reflect what we are expressing because they do manifest in real time. And as a, as a practicing craft or witch, as a practicing witch, I must adhere to what the words say. I must adhere to that because I can um, use words flippantly and energetically they start manifesting into something that I did not expect. And then we wonder, how come this turned out this way? Or why am I experiencing this or that? It's because we use a series of words or we allow our, allowed ourselves to be governed from others that use that expression, right? So we have to be really discerning. Doesn't mean that you have to constantly look over your shoulder to yourself about your words, but I am gonna tell you that until you get to a place where you are uh, freely expressing yourself without using right but is it pretty it wasn't pretty <laughs> so that is where learning how to use words uh, could have be effective because now if I called it pretty and I really enjoy pretty I could be attracting more pretty noises like that which seems to be the case right now because I've been expressing it that way so there's different things that manifest literally in real time that we can be in control of when we control our words now the second point i wanted to go into is exercise we um i'm looking around here our exercise is really important 
just for a moment. You see, that is three, two instances after I called noise pretty. So I'm thankful for the noise to uh, lower in its sound, it's not as audible and maybe relaxed and not so piercing. <laughs> so anyways, let me get through this part. So are we exercising as, it doesn't matter if you're a crafter or not, we do need to exercise. And if you're creeping 35 years and upward, that is something that is so important. I did about a mile and a half today, just walking, but I have not walked for quite some time. And I'm going to tell you, just that mile and a half, though, as I was going through an incline, had me breathing a little bit more heavier. So we think that maybe walking from this place to that place on lunchtime, you know, we might have a job that uh, requires us to go from one place to the next. Let's just say like UPS or some sort of delivery shop. That's still not enough consistent energy in um, helping your body thrive. So I'm gonna encourage everyone uh, to find an exercise activity to strengthen the core of the body. That's what I'm on a mission to do. I've got about, I've got a certain specific number in mind that I'm going to release and let go of. And um, if you are finding yourself in that position as well, then let's commit to doing that and uh, let us uh, light a candle. <laughs> I'll come back tomorrow with um, an activity uh, to dedicate for the, let's just put the intention, the intention to manifest healthier habits, right? So I'll, I'll come back tomorrow and, and then share with you what I've created. And that should be pretty cool. Anyways, thank you so very much for popping into the witch's cabin today. And later on, I'll be posting the weekly tarot series so that you'll be able to tap in and see how the energy is flowing and how you're able to navigate through our uh, week this week. Beautiful day. Blessings and ashe. Mwah.